Hey, Ari. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I decided it will, it'll be quicker to sync on that. So, to give you context, um, like from the very beginning, somehow, like I thought that Geo team has a task on the list of uh, the White House challenge stuff. And until yesterday, like yesterday, I actually uh, went through the uh, went through the tasks when I was preparing for the interview or something. And I was like, wait, hold on. There is no such task at all. And I was like, wow, like I fucked up. <laughs> but then, oh, no, it was, it was their, their sample, sample task was their geo one. But then, because um, I, I immediately uh, called Anton and I was like, I think we have a problem. But then I, I started realizing that, that what they are actually doing is the horizontal team. Right. And we just didn't realize that before from the high level. I think the task geo understands that. Um, I'm not sure like if everyone there understands it. Uh, we need to sync on that. But basically what they're doing, they're, they're going to have submission, but just through the three notebooks of other teams. Right. We just need to figure out how to do that. Yeah. Now that makes good sense. Um, yeah, and it I mean, it certainly it seems like the risk one there's some some good stuff that that's I mean, they're, they're so closely tied there i'm still trying to get a bead on um transmission on one is huge for a yeah. geo that's yeah. immediate connection for treatments i think there is a geo aspect which is basically connected to give you an example my brother that joined slack a couple of days ago he's yeah. working on the data set for uh the number of beds uh for like countries and stuff which is essentially a task geo um, kind of task, but connects yeah. to the therapeutics and, and vaccines task. Yeah. So I think there is a, a nice layer um, of that horizontal aspect, and we just yeah. need to spend some time today, tomorrow, figuring that out. No, that's perfect. And do, you know, do we have someone yet who is sort of helping shape? I mean, we, what we need is really sort of like a Kaggle master who's helping us make sure that those notebooks are in, in the right shape that all of the amazing work that's been done is actually showing in them in a way that that's relevant to, to the way that, that Kaggle is dealing with things and sort of all of those pieces. I think that's going to be me just because okay. like there is a massive like high level to detail level and like jumping. Yeah. And, uh, I think the initial template that I've created was helpful enough. Yeah. And actually Ben Jones iterated on it and he created a better version. Uh, and the major improvement was putting the summary on, on the top versus right. the bottom, which I didn't realize. But yeah, uh, I think that's, that's going to be a collaborative effort, maybe a couple of us um, of admin te team jumping in with each individual uh, team leader and figuring out the, like, here's the, the basic template, like what are the specifics for your task Perfect. and how can we take the geo uh, piece and also add to it. Yeah, that's, no, that's great. And I know uh, Christine's going to be filling out the um, the sort of the submission scoring form a little bit so that we can get a bit of information on how we can best help her pull that together. But no, I'm ecstatic if you're able to sort of have your focus um, sort of have some dedicated time to that over this next five days. Because certainly, I mean, the stuff you've been putting together on those notebooks um, shows how it ought to be done. And so if we can if we can have you helping weave what's actually been done on each of the tasks together like that, that'll be amazing. Yeah, I even like at first I was trying to do that with risk risk factors, but this past week just uh, put me out of the touch with, with the on the ground stuff, yeah. and I have to get back in. Uh, Maya had a very good uh, you know update for me in terms of the high level process and what was happening. So I think now I have a better picture. I think uh, task VT is just iterating on the previous stuff. So it's just a, an improvement. Yeah. So I have an understanding. In terms of transmission, I actually have no clue. Like I get that they are building some search engine stuff, but yeah. And Task Geo has been a mystery for me before, but now I finally understand what they're doing. Yeah. 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 
yeah, Nathaniel explained it to me, and finally that kind of clicked. I was like, oh, okay, no, you're you're something different than what I was thinking it was. So. <laughs> yeah. it, it's crazy that we had no clue, but it also makes sense because there was so much stuff happening, we didn't really have time to dive into details. Yeah, I think one of the other things that'll be interesting I don't, that I don't yet have a, a clear enough understanding on is how much of our pipeline, especially taking things like um, the, the tools that they've built for um, vaccines and therapeutics, how easy it is to dump in different keyword searches, different, uh, different um, initial material and have it aim somewhere different. Because I'm curious about whether we're able to aim some of what we've built at some of the other tasks that are out there as well and, so, and put something reasonable together. Yeah, and I get what you're saying. So I had a call with that surge guy, epidemiologist. I actually uh, accomplished a very important thing for us too that haven't been done for a reason because, you know, as many other things in, in our community, you just have to do something and show people how to do it. Yeah. So I did the interview with him and it's like 15 minute uh, quick interview. But after that, I actually started talking uh, with him about the product and somehow he's the best perfect person to help us to do that okay. because he's epidemiologist, researcher, and he's, he actually understands like the MVP process, like what is the product and how to build it. He knows exactly what that product has to be. Uh, and the good thing is that we're definitely building something extremely valuable for, for him and other people like him. Great. That problem is we have no clue what we're creating. And like, we're kind of just organically like doing what makes sense, which is amazing but we have to bridge those two states and he'll be the one to help us with that. But uh, you know, there's limited time, so we'll have to figure out uh, those constraints. But essentially, like what we're creating is this kind of a engine to speed up. The value proposition is very simple. He, he used to spend months uh, doing research, uh, doing literature review and other things and we can cut it down to a day. And that's amazing. That's amazing, yeah. Yeah, so in terms of value proposition, like that makes sense. In terms of product and the user experience and the actual you know, features, it's yeah. yet to be defined. Like there are obviously constraints of integrating it into the existing workflows. We can't just build something you know, so like radically different from what they are used to, but yeah, something that makes sense and gives some magical, uh, you know, touch to it. No, that's great. Is he able to take, does he have the time to sort of help us with that in sort of a, I mean, it's, it's almost like a principal investigator role where he's really saying like, this is what we need as an end product in order for it to, to be useful. So I scheduled a call with him next Saturday and you're welcome to join. I think we're, we're going to assemble people that come from like the actual entrepreneur environment because like, even though adding people from, you know, hardcore ML and other places is beneficial, I think that discussion has to happen on the high, like abstract level in right. terms of the, um, you know, how to get something to the market as soon as possible was yeah. the most product market fit. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah, no, I'd love to be in on that call. That sounds great. Yeah. So uh, that is happening next Saturday. And basically I think, um, we can ask him simple questions meanwhile. And I expect a lot of people reaching out to him after I publish this interview with him. So hopefully that doesn't uh, interfere with that. But yeah, other than that, I think we're moving into a very nice direction. We're doing everything right. And it's just a matter of dealing with all of these fires that keep popping up. That's right. And I think, I think part of it is going to be, and we can talk about this on maybe tomorrow's call, is just <coughs> we've got a million different directions that we're kind of waiting to percolate in. And for the next five days, just managing to put as many of those on pause as possible that aren't directly related to how we, how we kick as much ass as possible on that first yep. mission. 100%. Excellent. All right. All right. Sounds Thanks good. So much. I think I also generated a very valuable uh, video just now that I'm going to send to team leaders. Oh, great. To, to get them into context of that. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.